hello everyone you're all welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers i really do appreciate you so in today's tutorial we are going to be making a beautiful kimono jacket it's a midi kimono and it's actually a three piece like you can see from the beginning of the video the trouser and also the overlapping crop top all those videos i'm going to be putting up later so if you have not subscribed you want to stay connected by subscribing so you do not miss out on those tutorials when they go up so yes um in today's tutorial we are working on this beautiful african print is um actually two yards and nine inches so i'm going to start by showing you how to fold your fabric in order to achieve this kimono jacket i'll go ahead by opening up the fabric and then i'll begin my fold i'm going to fold i'm going to pick one part of the ankara from the top i'm going to fold it move it down to the bottom and make sure you arrange your fabric let it align properly just like I'm doing just take it over and fold it like that just watch carefully what I'm doing so you understand better then after that arrange it you can see that that part is opened and this other part is closed that's the closed end there so after arranging you're going to take the other open piece open side and then you bring it down to the other open edge okay do i help you understand that like you just fold it over so now we have four folds because we are cutting for the back and front you can see that this end is on fold this end is on fold but this other end is opened this is the open end we have so when folding your fabric please take note of this so that you can fold it very well so for this kimono the shoulder as you can see is on fold we are not cutting it is going to be on fold like that so we are going to go over and take our neck width and we are also cutting the back and the front together but we are going to start with the back measurements the neck width is three inches and the neck depth is one inch i'm going to give it a curve around there Then I'm going to place my tape on the shoulder and take my bust point, my nipple point, which is 11 inches. The nipple point is 11 inches. I'm going to mark it around there. And then rule it out. Rule out a straight line. So after this, I'm going to take my round bust measurement at that nipple point. The bust, I'm work, the bust measurement I'm working with is 30, 38 inches. Divide by 4. It's going to give me 9.5. I'm going to mark a point there. Then I'll go ahead to add extra 5 inches allowance. You know, it's a kimono jacket. We need ease. We need room. So you can add 3 inches, 4 inches, depending on what you want. So I'll be adding 5 inches. And if you want a very big kimono, don't make use of your bust measurement. You can just go on and make use of your hip measurement. You know the hip is usually bigger than the bust. But this kimono, I want it to be moderate, not too big. So um, this extra 5 inches for ease is okay. So I'll go ahead and take that measurement down.
and I'll rule a straight line connecting the point down to the hem. So I'm going to connect the point this way to the hem of the jacket. So I'm sticking with this um, boss point for my sleeve opening, which is 11 inches. It depends on how wide you want your sleeve to be. You can go down to 12 inches and you can also come up to mark 8 inches, 8.5. It depends on your measurement and the amount of ease you want. So for this sleeve is 11 inches. I'm going to give it a curve at that angle there. This is going to make um this is going to give it ease at that armhole side. So that's that on that one. The next thing is to go on and cut through the fabric where we've marked out. So while we're on this, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe and um, hit on the red button below the video. And also don't forget to like our videos, please guys. Like hitting the like button makes our video to reach wider audience, okay? So please do like and do subscribe. Thank you and turn on your post notification bell so you are notified when our next tutorials will be going up. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all your support. So after cutting the fabric, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So we are almost halfway done with our kimono jacket. I'm going to open it up so you see how it looks. So yes, this is it. Now we are going to pick out a part for the front part of this jacket. So you open it up this way. And then make sure you arrange it very well. Let it align properly so it doesn't affect your work later on. Make sure you are arranging it very well. So just go on and pick one part of the, the fabric. We have the front, we have the back. So we are going to use one part for the front now. So you open it up this way just like I'm doing. And align it properly. So after doing this, I'm going to um be taking a front opening. I'm going to be marking it out and I'm going to be doing that from you can see that um ghetto side there from so that's the front I'm using this side as a front part of our jacket. So I'm going to take I'm going to be cutting out that three inches at that neck um side there we are going to be achieving a v okay so you just place your ruler and just there's no particular measurement you can use go down by 10 11 but just make sure you are achieving something that at the end there won't be sharp edges so right from that three inches so we are it's like we are taking out the three inches parts of the the neck width for the front okay so you mark it like that down okay and um you can just go on down using half an inch you can use one inch 
to connect you can use half inch i use half inch in this video so you can just connect it that way down and make sure it blends in properly after cutting it this is what we have you can't really see it because of how bright this fabric is there's a space at the front part there so i went ahead to notch it at the middle part of the shoulder the middle point of the shoulder then i'll go on to fold my sleeve using one inch i'm going to fold it inward so i'm done folding the sleeve this is how it looks I folded it one inch to the wrong side. The next thing I'm going to do is to take my measurement for the band that will be used on the jacket. So I'm going to place my tape and measure all around the front part of the jacket through the neckline. So at this point, you can choose to use a different fabric, you know, just to add color to what you're doing. But I'm going to be using this same fabric. So I place my tape there and I'm taking it round through the neckline. And then to that point, my tape has been consumed at that, at that point. So that's 60 there. I'm going to take the tape from the beginning and place it all over again to the end, which gave me 24. So at the end, I have like 84 inches. I'm not going to be cutting 84 exactly. Make sure you add like four, three inches extra in case you know and um, so you do not have shortage okay so it's better you have excess than shortage so that's what i'm going to be working with i'll go ahead and cut out my band i've already done that at this point i've cut out the band the band is um five inches in width when opened and when closed is 2.5 inches so because of the length that um of the of the jacket i had to add extra inch to it so i joined it at the middle point so what i'm going to do is the length of this jacket is actually 35 inches but i cut out around 37 inches for folding okay for hemming two inches for hemming allowance so for this um band um the point where i joined the two fabric together i'm going to place that part uh, you remember the notch part at my neck my back neckline i'm going to be placing the part i joined together at that point and that's because i don't want it to i don't want that joint um part to end up at the middle part or where it's going to be exposed so i'm going to be placing it right behind there starting it from the neck point so i'm placing it on the right side of the fabric right side of the fabric from the back and right side of the band so right side to right side and i'm going to go over to my sewing machine and i'm going to join it i'm going to stitch it using half an inch for the joining all round so i'm going to start from that shoulder point there down and then i'll take it all over again down to the other side And this is how it looks after joining. I hope you can see it. This is how the band looks. This is how the inside part of it is. 
so you can top stitch if you want but my band is laying well so i won't be doing any top stitch so after i'm done i turned my fabric to the wrong face the wrong face facing me at this point and i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and i'm going to stitch it on both sides using one inch stitching allowance so i'm going to stitch it down using one inch now i'm going to stitch the other side as well so i'm done stitching it you can see how well the um sleeve side is laying the armhole side is laying and that's because i gave it a notch on the inside remember that point that there is a curve yes i had to notch it there to um create ease you know for folding for it to bend properly and so guys the next thing i'll do is just to um hem the jacket using two inches And that's it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe like our videos so it can reach wider audience um see you in our next video which is going to be that of a palazzo trouser thank you and remain blessed